What's going on guys, Jeff Blute here back with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new kit by Caleb Beats. This one's over at thebeatpharmacist.com. It's a trippy red loop kit. It includes 14 samples for you guys to chop up. So let's see if we can cook up a trippy red type beat using this loop kit right here. So I'm going to pick, I think it was this one. Yeah, that one. So yeah, for my hi-hats, I usually just use a, a MIDI loop that um, from other packs or ones that I've created before. I know I have my own. Um, that just saves time because, especially if you're in a session with an artist, you don't want to be sitting there and just trying to draw in a hi-hat and stuff like that. You want to keep the vibe going. You want to keep them writing to the music and feeling it and wanting to put it on, you know, wanting to write to it and make something for it. So um, it's easy to just drop those in and get the groove going because it's just hi-hats really. Um, as long as they have that modern feel and that bounce, that's really what you need. So now we're just going to add some claps. Quantize those. Put a full level on because I like my kicks to hit hard. Cool. So I'll try to do something a little a little different than I normally do. is starting to clip so we're going to slap a limiter on there a glue compressor
the way the short 808s sound, and that's just preference, really. So here's a cool trick if you guys want to do a tape stop effect inside of Ableton. Now I've seen a lot of videos by other people on this matter and uh, it's a lot of different ways and a lot of ways that I didn't like. I don't even remember how I came across this this way, if it was another video of someone or if I figured it out myself. Regardless, I just want to share it because people might be trying to do this and they don't know how. So here we go. So uh, inside of your clip, so on this last clip right here that I have highlighted. I want to do the tape stop effect so you go over to the bottom left here and open up the envelopes and you want to make sure on clip and then transposition and then you want to scroll until you find this like little blue line right here and we're gonna tape stop right here on this last bar so we're making a couple of dots and then you just want to drag it all the way down and now you should get that effect And I usually do that into a halftime. So one of the tricks that I like to do for my beats is on one of the last times around with the loop and the verse. 
Um, actually, I did it a little too early. I wanted, so we're gonna move this one over actually, because I just realized I did it too early. Um, I'm gonna move this one down to half time. <laughs> So in the last pass of the verse, what I like to do is halftime the loop that I have. And I also do this thing where it's just the kicks in the 808s and you take away the claps in the hi-hats. So that just kind of like switches things up. And then when you come back into the hook, everything comes back in and it sounds completely different. So it just changes things up while you know using the same four bar loop. Alrighty, and that right there is exactly how I would take one of those loops from that Trippy Red pack and turn it into a beat for Trippy Red. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to leave the link for the kit down in the description below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. If you want me to do more of these videos, I'd love to. If you have any questions about my workflow, where I get my kits, kits that I have, um, just shoot me a DM. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something today. Peace.